Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I'm very excited to bring you this technique video on posture. So the term posture just simply refers to the position of my skeleton at any given time. So when we're talking about posture for dancing, what we want to do is we want to optimize our body alignment for movement. All right. Um, and this is great because it has a lot of other benefits as well for your health. Um, so not only um, is good posture for dancing allowing you to execute your dance movements with more control, uh, less muscular tension, and more ease and balance, um, but it also has the benefits in life of preventing muscular tension that causes problems with your joints um, and wear and tear on your body over time. So posture is great to help your dancing and it's also great to help your health. So I wanted to talk about a common misconception about posture. So a lot of times in life we're told to just stand up straight, yes? And so I think some people get the impression that the goal of having good posture is simply to make the spine as straight as possible. So that's not actually the case. So as you can see, I have a poster here showing the skeletal system. So as you can see, this here is in fact just the spine. And as you can see, it actually curves quite a bit here. So we want to maintain the natural curve of the spine and we simply want to elongate it and have it be positioned um, to optimize the flexion and the freedom in our other joints. So as you can see, this guy here, uh, he's standing up nice and straight and he's still maintaining that little curve, slightly S-shaped through the spine. So there are five checkpoints that physical therapists and movement analysts like to look at to uh, analyze people's posture and determine whether or not they're in that optimal place. So um, those checkpoints are what you're really going for, and it's a little hard to see on the skeleton, but um, you want to have a plumb line going through the earlobe, down through the center of the shoulder, through the center of the hip and the center of the knee, and coming down right in front of the ankle. Yeah, so that is what's going to optimize the skeleton to move freely um, and you'll be able to maximize your dancing and also your health. So posture isn't just the back, it actually involves the whole skeleton. So um, one important feature of being able to get your skeleton aligned in the optimal way for movement is that also you need to have the weight distributed properly through the feet, yeah? So we really want to have a straight line coming down through our hips, through the center of the feet. We don't want our feet rolling in and we don't want our feet rolling out. We want the weight pretty centrally distributed here, yeah? So that from the front, uh, you can see that there's a vertical line through the center of my body, yes? If I turn from the side, we're looking for those plumb lines that I talked about before. Yes. So from my earlobe, down through my shoulder, through my hip, through my knee, and down to the front of the angle, that's the optimal alignment for posture. Yeah. So as you can see, I still have a slight arch in my low back here, which allows me to flex my hip joints with ease. Yeah. And then I still have a little bit of a, a width or a curvature through my upper back. Yeah, so I'm trying to maintain those natural curves. Uh, finally, I have a sense of openness here through my collarbone. So those are all checkpoints that we want. We want to have a slight curve in the low back. We want to have width in the middle back. And we want to have an open collarbone here. Yeah? So it's really important when we're thinking about posture that we come at it from a functional movement perspective rather than a purely aesthetic perspective. So good posture also obviously has an aesthetic benefit. Dance is a very aesthetic art form, but when we're thinking about standing up straight simply to create a particular look, a lot of times we're gonna be engaging the wrong muscles in the body. We're gonna get tense and we're not gonna free ourselves up to move, yes? So um, in my case, I know in the past I've made the mistake of like kind of over-engaging my abs and then I'm not free to, to move and flow. There's a lot of different varieties of that mistake. So I'm gonna transition now into talking about some common mistakes that people make with posture and how we can start working on correcting those. All right, so um, the first postural thing that I want to talk about that can be a little bit of an issue for some people and inhibit them from maximizing their movement capability is going to be an excessively arched low back, yeah? So as you can see here, basically I have an extreme curve in my low spine. I've released my abdominals just a bit. Um, so this can actually be, uh, there could be a couple causes of that. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to drop my body into a more neutral alignment. Yeah, so I still have a flex here in my hips. I still have a curve in my back, but I've essentially just lengthened those curves with my spine, which is really what we want to think about for good posture is lengthening those curves. So um, commonly what can cause this, this arch in the back is a combination of uh, weakness in the abdominal muscles as well as tightness in the hip joints. 
So I will be doing some exercise videos to talk about targeting those areas to help you guys with that. Um, the second common postural um, error that I'd like to talk about is a sway back. So that one is where the hips actually come a little bit too far forward and you get a little bit of a roundness in the upper spine. Yeah, so here again, the correction is um, not only do you need to lengthen the spine, but we also need to just drop the pelvis into a more neutral alignment and then we lengthen the spine here. And then as you can see, hopefully there's a plumb line through my earlobe, my shoulder, my hip, my knee into the front of the ankles here. Yeah, the third one, um, which is um, to be avoided, is the flat back. Yeah, so in this case, you see people trying, it could be caused by a lot of factors, a lot of sitting can cause this, or um, just an incorrect understanding of what the goal of posture is, where um, there really is a flattening of that curve in the low spine, yeah? So um, basically, I'm taking out that natural curve and my back is flat and my upper spine is a little bit slumped, yeah? So that also could be very unhealthy, I'm very locked up and I'm not able to move efficiently here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop again my pelvis into a more neutral alignment and then lift and lengthen the curves naturally of my spine. So I have an exercise for you guys next that I'll show you that can kind of cheat you into an ideal posture. All right, so here's just a really quick exercise for getting yourself into an optimal spinal alignment for movement. So we're gonna have a chair. I'm gonna have you sit on the edge of the chair. So you wanna sit where your feet can be flat on the floor, yeah? And then you're just gonna completely relax and slump. From here, I want you to do the opposite extreme and make as much arch and natural curve in your spine as you can. Yeah, So I've really kind of overdone it. I've tried to pull up. I've really accentuated this curve of my low back. And then I'm just going to relax 10%. Yeah, And that drops me into uh, optimal alignment. So I have a slight curve in my low back, a slight um, widening through my mid back and then my collarbone is open here so this is where you want to be when you're sitting if you do a lot of sitting at work this is the best place the healthiest place to be um, and then from here i'm just going to have you shift your weight slightly forward and stand up and then feel the same tone through the body that should bring you again into the optimal postural alignment so as you can see i can flex my knees and flex my hips i can rotate around my spine this allows me freedom through my joints um, and it's also very very comfortable and very healthy for the body so the main point that I'd really like to, you guys to take away from this video is to really understand what good posture is, uh, why we're seeking it. Um, so good posture is going to be an elongation of the natural curves of the spine and we're seeking it so that we can optimize our movement potential. So um, I, one of my coaches, who's a very great dancer in his day, always used to say that you, your dancing will ultimately be as good as your posture is. So it's very important to sort of become aware of the concept of good posture and how you can achieve it in your body, not from an aesthetic standpoint, just, oh, I've got to look like a dancer, but from a functional standpoint. How can I get my body and my joints to move in the room so that I can be the best dancer that I can be? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on posture. Please check out my dance exercise videos for some exercises that you can use to improve your own posture for your dancing.